Hi, I'm Perry, and we're in my mom's garden, where today we'll be discussing garden journaling. My mom typically starts this process in the winter, then continues through the spring and summer months of growth, but you can start anytime. We are going to break down five things my mom records in her garden journals, and you can too. All you need is a pen and paper or a journal or notebook. Number one, what plants or flowers you want in your garden. If you want an annual, which flowers all year long, but it only lasts one year. If you want a perennial, which comes back every year, but typically only flowers one time during the season. Shrubs, trees. And why do you want to know whether it's annual or perennial? Do you, is it because you always want a mix of something growing? Uh, I, I always like to have a, a, some kind of a flower blooming and uh, annuals bloom pretty much all the time. Perennials don't. Number two, location. You need to know whether they're a sun loving flower or plant, shade loving flower or plant. I look at my garden all year long, even all day long to see what's sunny or shady and how long the, the sun lasts in places like that. And this is typically where you want to sketch out your garden if you do want that. Yes, that's why I, I sketch it out. Number three. What worked and didn't work the year before. Um, I usually write down everything that didn't work and I'll either transplant it or I'll get rid of it and put something else in its place. Number four. Garden features. Do you want a bench in your garden? Do you like statues in your garden? Do you want a water feature in your garden? Um, a fairy garden? I always try to plan and see what, what I like and, and what I want to put in places to see if it'll work or not. And lastly, number five. Then you want to do a plan of action. I go back through and look at all my other lists that I've made and plan what I'm going to do, when I'm going to do it, and that way I don't forget anything.